Hey, what's up you guys? Sorry for the long absence here on, on the YouTube thing, but uh, it's been really, really, really busy here and I haven't really got a chance to do a whole lot of recording and especially not any editing. So um, I just wanted to get on here and do a quick show of face basically and give you guys a quick tip that has helped me out quite a bit on aero flight and aero stability in flight. And it was actually one of the first videos that I ever did on YouTube. And I think I took it down because it was super awkward and uh, forced. So I just took it off, but it's still a really good, the information was good. It's just not really good, not really well presented. So I wanted to redo the video kind of, and just talk about what it was that I talked about in that video. And that is the screw and weights, tips that accept screw and weights, how you can basically maximize your um, forgiveness for the arrow, I guess. And the meat potatoes of it is, is that when the manufacturers make these tips, they don't always drill a perfectly straight hole into the backside of the tip that accepts the weight. So what that does is while you're screwing in that weight, it kind of screws in in a circular manner, kind of corkscrewing down into the tip. Well, what that does is most guys will generally hot melt their, their weight and just screw it in and bottom it out and not look at it and not think about it again. Well, and that's okay. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. Obviously, it's it, that would be ideal. But the problem with that is, is because they don't always drill them straight, that weight sometimes is sitting crooked in that tip. So what it does is it creates this lob effect through the through arrow flight that you don't even know how you're how it happens you know so you might get a bad arrow and you're like oh my gosh what's the deal with the arrow it could be that so what i always do is i hot melt my my um, weights and then i bottom on bottom the weight all the way out in the tip and then i'll look in the back side see if they're straight if they're not straight i'll take my allen wrench and i'll just start backing that weight off until it gets straight because there's generally a point where it's either perfectly straight inside the back of the tip or it's really close. So you can find that area just by backing it off and it'll help the arrow flight as a whole for all dozen of your arrows or two dozen or however many you're building um, be more consistent with each other. So just a quick tip that I always do and seems to help my arrow flight out. Hopefully it'll help you guys out too. I'm still alive and well. Hopefully I'll be able to get some more YouTube videos out here pretty soon. Thank you guys for always checking out the videos and watching them. If you don't mind, please do subscribe because it helps me out a lot. And until next time, I'll see y'all later.